New tonight, we're hearing from a local family who is frustrated that a bill to update Rhode Island's parentage laws failed to win lawmakers' approval this session. They say the state's laws haven't been updated in decades, and they don't accommodate same-sex couples who use methods like IVF or surrogacy to have kids. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is here to break it all down. New at 530. Kim? Well, Caroline and Mike, this bill would, among other things, allow same-gender couples to both be listed as parents on a child's birth certificate. Right now, they're forced to go through an adoption process, even if the baby is biologically theirs. Whoa! Sarah Watson and Anna Ford's son is now two and a half, but four days after he was born, they were ready to name him Eli and fill out his birth certificate. The hospital staff said, we're really, really sorry, but you can't put your name on this birth certificate. So I was essentially told when he was delivered that I wasn't his parent, I couldn't be his parent, and the only way to become his parent was through adoption. That was the only legal recourse that I had. Sarah is Eli's biological mother, but thanks to in vitro fertilization, Anna carried and delivered him. She ended up giving birth, and the person who gives birth has the rights to the child. So this is another example of how the paperwork and the legal process has not kept track, kept pace with the times. The pair went through a rigorous adoption process that included fingerprinting, a background check, and even paying for a newspaper ad alerting their anonymous sperm donor. Our experience was traumatizing just in terms of realizing that the sperm we used had more rights than Sarah did. After eight months, Sarah's biological son was legally hers. If something had happened to Anna, if she'd gotten into a car accident when Eli was three months old, where would my son have gone? Where, who would have taken care of him? The state could have taken my son and put him into DCYF care. That's absolutely unconscionable. This child always belonged to both of them, but legally the child didn't. So that's something we're looking to fix. State Senator Erin Lynch Prada sponsored a bill to update Rhode Island's parentage laws this session. It received unanimous support in the Senate, but the House has now put together a study commission after concerns were raised by Rhode Island's chief judge of the family court, Michael Fort, saying in a statement, quote, this should not be rammed through without making sure the interests of children aren't being compromised. It is my job to ensure a safe process that is in the best interest of children. Sometimes this takes the courage to speak up. And Chief Judge Fort declined an on-camera interview, but said in a statement he didn't want to derail this bill, but wants to ensure it holds legal muster. Senator Lynch Prada says this study commission will further delay justice for families like Eli's. That study commission is set to begin meeting in the fall. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.